Redcat is a, an American drone solutions company uh, that develops small tactical reconnaissance drones for defense and security applications, both in the US and our allied nations. But at the heart of it, our business is about saving lives and bringing those that are in harm's way back home safely. The company was founded in 2016 uh, by our CEO, Jeff Thompson. Uh, we have now grown the business where we have two subsidiaries. We have Teal Drones, which is based out of Salt Lake City, Utah in the United States. And we have Flight Wave Aerospace, which is based in Long Beach, California. We have about between 100 and 120 uh, employees at the moment. What makes Red Cat stand out is, uh, is our business model is not about doing it all. We know what we're good at. We know that we're good at developing a drone technology. And so we, built, we basically have built a truck in the sky that is a flying cell phone. So just like your cell phone, you have software applications. The drone itself also has software applications that the warfighter or defense and security personnel can have at their fingertips. That includes artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning applications, target identification, classification, those types of, of uh, applications that are at the fingertips of the warfighter. So at the heart of it, our drone technology is uh, very similar to a flying cell phone. So just like your cell phone where you have various applications that can help you in your daily life, for defense and security personnel, they have access to now a variety of software applications that we can inject into the drone that are developed actually by other com uh, companies, other partner companies of ours. So we can lean on them to be best in breed uh, for those types of technologies and software applications like artificial intelligence, like target identifi you know, identification and classification, like 3D mapping. Um, all of those things can now be injected into our drones and it be at the fingertips of the warfighter. Uh, so we are introducing the Black Widow, uh, which is a small tactical, uh, short recon range reconnaissance drone. Uh, it just recently won the short range reconnaissance program of record by the US Army in the United States. This is the aircraft over here. Uh, flies for about 35 minutes, has a five to eight kilometer range comes standard with a Teledyne Clear 640 plus R um, day and night payload for high resolution thermal and day imagery. It has a Duda Labs radio in it, which is very EW resilient. So we actually tested this aircraft in Ukraine and it flew very, very well against Russian jammers. And that was because of our, our Duda Labs radio that's inside of it which allows for frequency hopping between M1 and M6 frequency. So when it gets into an area that's contested or electronic warfare environments, it can start to jump around to different frequencies and it won't be jammed. The next up is our Edge 130 aircraft, again, developed by Flightwave Aerospace, uh, one of our subsidiaries. This is a very interesting design in that it's a hybrid VTOL aircraft, tricopter. So it actually takes off vertically and then transitions to forward flight with its propeller, its propulsion system. The aircraft actually comes standard with two different payloads. Right now, this is a mapping array with multiple camera systems to do uh, mapping and 3D mapping. And we have another actually nose that they can pop on that is for day-night uh, ISR imagery, just like the Black Widow. It's extremely light. This aircraft actually weighs less than the Black Widow. Um, and it has a 20 kilometer range and about a one hour flight time. Next up is our uh, controller. This is our Warfighter Electronic Bridge or, or WEB. This is the standard controller for the Black Widow system. Uh, in future months, we are going to see expansion of this to be able to control multiple air vehicles, including the Edge 130, and including even FPV style uh, precision strike drones that we're gonna be developing actually this year. The system will also be able to operate ground robots as well as air assets and uh, perform swarming capabilities. Specifically to the Black Widow, one of the biggest differentiators is its field repairability. So it's a very robust, ruggedized design. And what happens is, you know, sometimes if you are in a mission and you take a hard landing, things break. In this case, this is designed so that if a motor arm breaks, you actually just can, can take it off very, very quickly. A warfighter can actually repair this out in the field and they don't have to send it back to the factory. A lot of our competitors, if they land or take a hard landing and it breaks, they have to send the entire drone back to the factory, which means now those warfighters are without their assets. So in this case, uh, it's getting very ruggedized, very field repairable. Um, it's also very adaptable. I mentioned before about the idea of a flying cell phone. So as we continuously improve the drone, our industry partners will focus on the software aspect of it and continuously improve that software so that the warfighters have the latest and greatest technology in their hands. So uh, what, again, what's interesting about the Edge 130 is it's uh, for a very small footprint, it actually has a very large endurance and distance. 
So based on its size, this is something that applies again for more than an hour and uh, in a 20 kilometer range. So in, in our industry, that's actually best in class. In the future months, we're going to see uh, this technology accelerating forward more by adding more endurance, uh, getting to 90 minutes and potentially two hours, as well as uh, even more range, uh, more than 20 kilometers. So you'll start to see that also these things start to be worked into maritime environments. So being launched off of ships, uh, unmanned surface vessels uh, to perform multi-domain operations. Last year, REDCap formed an industry consortium called the REDCap Futures Initiative. And what it is, it's a, an industry consortium that brings best in breed drone technology companies together um, where we all can have a seat at the table when it com talk, comes to talking with government. And so we have REDCat as the hub, meaning that we, form, we focus on the drone technology. And then we have a, a whole multiple, uh, multiple companies that uh, like, I'll give you guys some examples. Um, one example is Ocean Power Technologies. We partnered with them. They develop uh, unmanned surface vessels. So currently we are doing integration with swarming and with uh, multi-domain operations of our drones into unmanned surface vessels to, to give maritime applications. Uh, we partnered with Athena AI out of uh, Australia. They do target identification and classification. So they can start to help build uh, target models and inject that into the drone so that when the drone is flying, it can actually identify people, it can identify what they're holding, if it's a shovel or a weapon, they can identify vehicles all through the drone. Uh, we work with Reveal Technologies, and so they have a software called Farsight. Farsight um, allows us to do 3D mapping with the drone just by flying over an area 360 degrees and, and have a real-time uh, relevant map. Uh, Sentient uh, Robotics, so we work with them on swarming technologies. They've developed a hive technology that allows for anywhere from 12 to 80 drones to be deployed, go and do a mission, come back, and then recharge, and then go out again. So that's just some examples of some of the companies as part of our industry consortium, and that's what's accelerating our technology forward. So the way that RedCat is gonna uh, kind of keep an advantage uh, as we move forward is this idea of constantly listening to our end users. We have very strong relationships with our end users in both defense and security forces. We sit with them on a regular basis, we listen to their needs, wants, and desires, and we fold that feedback back into our development programs. So that allows us to constantly stay ahead of the game. So when these are fielded out in uh, you know, contested environments and uh, at the front lines, which is what they were designed for, we immediately get that feedback to then uh, focus on enhancing the drone even more for them based on real mission requirements. This year, um, you're gonna start to see us move into FPV technology. Um, we have, uh, last year at Euro Satori, we announced a line of what we call FANG, uh, precision strike FPV drones. Uh, we are currently in development of those drones and we're, you'll start to see those being released uh, within the next few months. And those drones will be used in conjunction with these two ISR assets. So imagine a mission where a warfighter can send out an ISR drone, identify a target through its AI software, realize that that target is a threat. In the past, you would have to call in air assets like helicopters and gunships, which could take a lot of time. Now we actually developed a portable kill chain to allow the warfighter to not only seek the target, but then engage that target with small FPV precision strike drones. That's what you're going to start to see in the coming months. If you're looking for a drone that is cheap, that will break when it hits the ground, uh, that does not have encryption, we are not the company for you. We want you to come to us if you take seriously the fact that you want your data to be safe. Our drones are 100% uh, encrypted, AES-256 encryption. Uh, they were designed specifically for the frontline warfighter, meaning that they can be repaired out in the field. And we, are, we offer best in breed technology through our industry consortium. If that's, if that's what you're looking for in your mission requirements, then Red Cat is the company to come to.